Welcome everybody back to the Lantern Sports pregame show. I'm your host Kevin Lapka alongside Casey Smith, number 11 Ohio State going up against Rutgers in Piscataway, New Jersey. First road game after a three game homestand and it's CJ Stroud who returns as the Ohio State starting quarterback. But Casey, your eyes are on a, on a different position on the offensive side of the ball, huh? Yep, definitely the wide receivers, Kevin. Not Garrett Wilson, not Chris Olave, but my eyes are set towards Jackson Smith and Jigba there in the slot. Okay. Uh, we've seen what Greg Schiano likes to do on defense. He likes to run that zone defense, so especially beneficial for the slot receiver. And right. they've had a lot of success against Rutgers in the past two years. When Chris Olave was in the slot, he had four catches, 139 yards in 2019. Garrett Wilson in the slot last year in 2020, he was six catches, 104 yards and a touchdown. So I think just being able to sit down in that soft zone, being able to catch some curl routes, and even I think some 15 yard mm -hmm. post routes to the sideline, I think as long as CJ Stroud's able to clear that defender out there on the sideline, Jackson Smith and Jigba, I think he'll be able to match that 145 yard day that he had a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And he's coming off a solid performance against Akron too, five catches, 93 yards and a touchdown. So I expect him to have sort of a similar performance against Rutgers. And I think on the other side, again, for Rutgers, I think Aaron Cruikshank, Cruikshank excuse there me. You go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's, he's definitely a Swiss Army knife for them because yeah. you go down the, the Rutgers stat line, he's in the rushing yards uh, stat line, the receiving and the returning. And the Wisconsin transfer, he's made his bread and butter sort of on the returning end because I think he's sort of like a Tyreek Hill type where okay. – if you get him moving, get him in motion, because he ran track and field in high school. Mm -hmm. So get him moving, get him in motion on the jet sweeps, the screen passes, stuff like that. I think he'll definitely be explosive for uh, Rutgers' offense. Yeah, absolutely. It could be that stress on my knife. I like the way you put that. He can do a lot of different things on the offensive side of the ball. But let's take a look at some stats now, because you know I always like to look for stats where one team is on one end of it and the other team is on the other. And the one that I found here is yards per play. So what basically this is ultimately an indication of indication of is uh, explosiveness and explosive offensive ability. Ohio State first in the FBS in yards per play at 8.4. Next best, 7.5. So, you know, we've had our questions about their offense, but the one thing they are getting done is explosive plays. That's how you win games. You look at Rutgers, 117th with 4.0, and you wonder, how are they 3-1? How are they keeping games close with such a low average of yards per play? Well, this is how. Rutgers is 6th in the FBS in time of possession with 34 minutes per game. So what you're going to see is Rutgers is going to come into this game saying, we know we're not going to out-explosive the Ohio State offense. We're, we're not going to go for 50-yard rushing plays and passing plays You know, every single drive. We're going to win this game by ground and pound, short intermediate routes, winning time possession, grinding down the Ohio State defense, and, and getting that game-winning drive at the end. So, uh, I mean, they're also second in the nation uh, defensively at third down conversions allowed per game. So, you know, they're not allowing teams to stay on the field. That's why they're winning time possession. That's the approach Rutgers is going to have on Saturday. It'll be interesting to see uh, if they follow those trends. Trends, but that'll do it for us here at the Lantern Sports Post Game Show. Be sure to look out for our highlight video that comes out after the game, as well as our post game analysis available uh, at our YouTube, Lantern TV, and all socials uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, wherever you find it. So appreciate you guys tuning in. We'll see you next week. Take care.